Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are going to see nested serializer. Okay, so in order to create nested serializer, we need two serializers. Okay, as they have shown over here, right? And we need to compile this serializer down here and we are ready to go. Okay, to see this documentation, you can click on, you know, this uh, nested serializer from API guide. So first of all, come to Django rest framework.org and from here, click on API guide and re serializer relation. Okay. And here you can find nested serializer relationship. Okay. So here, if you click on example, then they have shown the example and here is the output, right? So we'll do the same thing. So I'll just open my VS code. Now here before starting coding, I'll just remove some commented code and this code is already available on GitHub. Okay. So I'll just remove this. This also I'll remove this function too. And all this comment code. Now this seem to be clean code. Okay. So if you remember, well, we have, you know, updated our model blog model at that time i have created this category model 2 okay so we are going to utilize this now so i'll go to serializers.py here i will create um categories serializer so i'll say class category serializer okay and here i will say serializers dot model serializer And in here I'll say class meta and here model will be as a model equals to category. I need to import category. So I'll say category over here. Okay. So category has been imported now and I will say fields. Um, I guess I need to exclude so I'll say exclude ID okay so this serializer has been created now I'll go to views.py here on the top I'll create class and here I'm going to create category category list view and here I'll say API view and here I'll define get method so I'll say def get and here I'll pass self request so I'll say self self comma request okay so here I'll say all underscore category equals to category so I need to bring the category model over here also so I'll say category now here I'll say category category dot objects dot all okay so this will bring out all the category which is present in our database and after this we can pass this to serializer so i'll say serializer equals to category serializer i need to import that category serializer from the serializer.py so i'll say category serializer i'll copy this name and paste that over here okay and uh, not comma parenthesis and I'll pass all underscore category and I will say many equals to true okay done now we need to return the response so I will say return response serializers I'll put S over here. This is realizes dot data. Okay. 
this should be fine so let's register this view to our urls.py so i'll just copy this name go to urls and uh, here i will just you know comment i will say category urls and i will say path say category underscore list put slash at the end and i'll say comma views dot category list view dot s underscore view don't forget to put comma over here okay otherwise it will throw you error and i'll say comma name equals to category list okay this should be fine so let's go to browser over here i will again okay so we still have error what's that error okay i need to remove this uh, extra field which we created while we were you know learning serializer model field now refresh okay everything is done now you can see that we have category implemented okay so they are showing the primary key because we have added for as a foreign key so if i go to models.py so here we can see category we have added it as a foreign key okay that's why they are showing the um what we can say the category primary key field okay don't worry we will fix this too okay but uh, we will see nested serializer for now so um, after doing this i'll just close this models.py if i go to category underscore detail so i copy this sorry category underscore list if i go over here you can see i am getting this uh, social media Re react js and name okay so i also want that blog which belongs to this category should be displayed okay this is known as nested serializer so if i go to serializers.py and over here if i write category underscore name so i'll say i am just creating variable okay so I mean I go to models.py and here I'll say category underscore name equals to serializers dot character field okay and here I will say category equals to now I need to pass this block serializer okay block serializer and I will say many equals to true okay and i will say read underscore only equals to true save this come over here refresh you can see we have these blocks now okay now here we can do one more thing like we need to change this variable we will say category underscore related underscore blog okay this will make more sense right just refresh okay so why it's not taking mm. oops 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 sorry we need to write this only yeah done this is because here if i go to blog you can see we have this um, you know category related name is here category that's why right so we need to write category only over here just save and you can see we got this so if i go to admin panel admin panel i will just log in with admin credentials and if i go to blog and in this react.js if i change this to social media and save it and come over here and refresh then you can see 
React JS has no blogs, but social media have two blog now, right? So this is how it works. And if you go to Rapid API, let me go to Rapid API. Where is it? I need to install thing that I guess. For now, let us use this Thunder client. Okay, new request. Just send. You can see we got this response, right? So I hope you got idea about all this uh, nested serializer. Okay, D uh, category detailed. Okay, so I'll just close all these things. Now here I am just going to create one another view. I'll just copy this paste below instead of this list I will write detail okay here in after request I will say pick k and instead of all I will say get I will say pick k equals to pick k so primary equals to primary key and uh, we are not going to allow man equals to true because we are going to fetch one object only and our serializer is ready but i need to write single category okay and i'll copy this variable and paste that over here i will register this to urls.py file i'll duplicate this one here i'll say category detail slash int pick k here it will be category detail view and here instead of the list i'll say detail save it just write slash over here and if i go to browser refresh once now here instead of list i'll say detail and i will pass one slash okay so this is category detail page now you can see at the first primary key like if i open categories social media you can see social media has primary key one okay in url bar you can see over here so if i wrote one over here we got social media and we also got the blogs which are related to social media okay so this was the last things which uh, last thing which i wanted to show you okay so now i will end this um, video over here so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt please let me know in comment box okay i will definitely try to help you guys and i will see you in next one thank you and yeah in next video we are going to see serializer relationships okay sorry api reference okay this is the api reference we are going to see all these things so i'll see you in next one thank you